Cryobook Archives right here. And uh, this work uh, features a number of books that I've made out of human tissue and animal tissue and also plant-based tissue. Uh, so the, here we can see the, the meteor looking parts. This one here is uh, human tissue. It's ex-plant skin that was donated to the project from a patient undergoing um, cosmetic surgery. And it's been bound uh, into a book with archival paper and also pigskin at the back. And the book's been bound with surgical stitches. So this really brings together uh, biotechnology and biomedical practices with the craft of bookmaking. We often uh, overlook the fact that information is created from physical bodies. We're so concerned about digital information age right now that we forget that often um, biotechnology, for example, uses cells, human cell um, culture, you know, tissue culture, uh, blood, to give us information. So I made these, um, well, a year ago, but it took me three years to get the, the um, protocol developed. There's virus that's used in this. It's a synthetic lentivirus, and it's been used to create um, designs on the books. And um, it talks to uh, the idea of how viruses are um, also very interesting um, entities of information. We often think about viral video or, or digital media as going viral. This is a, a viral piece right here. So exhibiting here in the Science Gallery uh, is a wonderful experience. It's really, really refreshing to work with people who are familiar with science and art. It's really rare to find. I've had many, many challenges. Uh, this is actually the first time the work has been exhibited, uh, mostly because when I've tried to show tissue in an art gallery context before, it has created a lot of concern from the public and from administrators. And in fact, one of my um, works was uh, banned from an exhibition uh, a couple years ago um, because the gallery uh, directors were concerned about health and safety issues. Uh, when, of course, as we can see here, the work is fixed and triple contained, uh, a cough is more dangerous than the sculpture will ever be.